Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Aaron, and Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. A family stopped by a playground with their children, but sadly they could not get in because the gate was locked. The little girl in the family looked up to her father with her puppy dog eyes and, and she said, but daddy, you've got a lot of keys. Obviously, she had not yet learned that you need the right key to open a lock. Prayer is a key that works, and it's given to every believer. How often do you actually use that key? Let's hear what the Bible encourages about prayer. From the letter of James chapter 5, reading there verses 13 to 16. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of your church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. You know, prayer is a privilege. It's a privilege in which God invites only his children, only those people who believe in his son, and only they are free to come to his throne and share with him every single one of their thoughts and needs. A Christian who is mature in his faith will be prayerful when he has troubles. And so in, instead of complaining about his troubles, he talks to God about them. And God hears and he answers him. So why is it that so few of us seem to experience the power of prayer in our lives? A chapter before this, James wrote, You do not have because you do not ask. There was a pastor who acknowledged that it was the same thing for him. He said, I find it easier to preach on prayer than to pray. I find it easier to write about prayer than to pray. I find it easier to talk about Jesus than to pray. I find anything I do in my life easier than praying. Martin Luther had the right insight when he wrote, I have so many things to do today. I dare not ignore my time with God. Luther spent something like three hours each day in prayer, and who could argue that he accomplished more for the Christian faith than most? How much of our spiritual setbacks would never have happened had we spent time in prayer? How much greater would our faith be, our attitude, our trust in God, our patience, our fruits of faith, if we had just spent some time talking to God about it? James urges us, when we or others are in trouble or sick, to pray. Does he really need to tell us that? Well, probably not. But here's something that does bear time thinking about. James connects our sinful actions to our physical and mental health. There's biblical support for that. Just read Psalm 32 and hear what David went through when he lived his life for a while in unrepentant sin. God calls on us to cry out to him, to confess our sins and our miserable failures honestly to him, to ask him for his forgiveness, for healing in our lives and for others, for strengthening in our faith. Dearest Jesus, help us to make prayer our routine every day, and let us see the great difference that you will make in our lives. Amen.